வெல்கம் டு ஆண்ட்ர கார்ட் குட் ஈவினிங் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் வியூவர்ஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் டிஸ்கசிங் அபவுட் த ஜென்ரல் எலெக்ஷன் டுவெண்டி டுவெண்டி ஃபோர் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் விச் ஆர் ஸ்டில் பீங் டிக்ளேர்ட் இன் சோ மெனி கான்ஸ்டிடுவன்சிஸ் டு டிக்ளேர் அபவுட் த வெஸ்ட் பெங்கால் ரிசல்ட்ஸ் டுடே வி ஹாவ் டாக்டர் காகா சாட்டர்ஜி வித் அஸ் அண்ட் லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் டு ஹிம் சார் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஹவு டு யூ சி த ரிசல்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் வெஸ்ட் பெங்கால் அண்ட் ஹவு மெனி கான்ஸ்டிடுவன்சிஸ் ஆர் ஸ்டில் வெயிட்டிங் டு ரிசீவ் த ரிசல்ட்ஸ் as the general secretary of bangla pokkho the national organization of bengalis in india i would like to congratulate bengalis and our brother people the tamils for showing hindi imperialist bjp that we matter and we will mm. not surrender our homelands to hindi imperialism first thing first thing i mean this has to be explained first because uh, we are doing english content people mm. who hear about other states in english content people typically can hear various things in their own mother tongue and they have a idea but when they hear about other states they typically hear about through english content i'm not talking about the hindi trash that is there even in the english content same as hindi content because it's all capital based by mm. capital i mean both money and by capital i also mean delhi noida okay it's their narrative so in bengal we have a saying that if you take a soft toy cat you know soft toy cat and you pump it it often looks like a tiger today two such cats pumped into tigers were okay. burst in west bengal and tamil nadu one is subendu adhikari and one is the annamalai fellow what what we understood that these are delhi media creations okay these are soft toy cats pumped mm. with air from noida english hindi gujarati capital dropped in the land of tamils dropped in the west land of west bengal through parachutes called set top t- set top box and whatsapp channel mm. those are the parachutes so because it's air people of bengal and people of tamil nadu it did not require too much mm. just a little bit of this you can get it in any restaurant you know this mm. toothpick kind of a thing Just, yes that's it that's enough <laughs> you know mao okay. had said imperialism is a paper tiger it's a very famous uh. quote of mao mm. zedong mm. it also shows at least the local dalals of hindi imperialism are paper tiger mm. i wouldn't say hindi imperialism is per se a paper tiger they have by now amassed a lot of this raw power in terms of and i will come to all of that it all this all part of implications of these results so let me come to the west bengal results okay so the west bengal results you have to go back to the 2019 result and 2021 assembly mm. elections and that's when it will make sense In 2019 results Trinamool got 22 seats BJP got 18 seats Trinamool was 22 or 21 rest was Congress two seats so 18 and 22 mm. of these 22 two people MP of Tomuluk and MP of Kathi they joined the BJP so it actually was 2020 okay practically mm. because in the parliament they were voting with the BJP so practically these these were BJP MPs only so they were equal almost and in vote mm. share it came very close some 2-3% difference in the Bidhan Sabha election in the assembly elections BJP you know was destroyed in the Lok Sabha election now this time what we are it's still ongoing the parliamentary elections lower house the trinomul versus bjp vote gap is the same as the assembly election 10% okay and the trinomul has won a more than two thirds of the seats one or leading you know so the latest i saw out of 42 the situation is something like 29 or 30 mm. trinomul 11 or 12 bjp and one for the congress mm. okay but trinomul is not some bengali nationalist party but in the absence of a bengali mm. nationalist formation trinomul being a bengal based party receives all this sort of resistance to delhi forces resistance by you know these gujarati power and you know this adani mm. and this uh, uh, modi and this uh, amit shah and they are coming as if they are owners as if emperors mm. are surveying their you know whatever lands mm. so two things have are there 
in in so called ancient times in the you hear of something called rajshua jogo it means ah. an emperor to become a raj chakraborty he would have this horse mm. and this horse would be sent around and behind it the army would go so whoever would say okay does not stop the horse that land belongs to whoever the emperor mm. and whoever challenge stops mm. the horse that's a challenge and then the army would take over and whatever the result be bjp send its arian horse mm. you know horses came with arians you know okay so bjp had sent its horse to this land of bengal which was not considered part of aryabhatta we lesser people we bengalis who have been subjected to being called non citizens we bengalis who we, we are bangali and amit shah called us kangali you know kangali mm. means uh, like beggar okay oh. we bengalis whose doyans like vidyashagor whose statues were destroyed what did we do we stopped the horse mm. drove away the army made many pieces of the horse made it into meat curry mm. and we ate it we are mm. a non vegetarian land bengal is a non vegetarian land okay this gujarati chariots horse has been stopped now let's come okay. to the specific results some positives and some problematic places remain first of all just like tamil nadu this kongu nadu issue mm. where they want to divide a state due to unequal yes. development issues there are unequal mm. development issues in every land in japan mm. in america everywhere you will not find a place which is like a flat terrain right yes so using those issues so the unequal development issues which are basically issues of uh, unequal development across districts would then mm. be was then used by bjp to make it into a geographical issue and then from geographical issue to almost it's a separate the idea is to break every powerful non hindi nationality which is why i always say and look at the results of this today united andhra pradesh used to be a force for the constitution mm. you know yes. be it potu siramalu mm. be it nt ramarao and look now so i always say that the division of andhra pradesh and the division of the telugu nationality engineered by delhi mm. where is brs now it's a sub nationality mm. it will come and go but you have made a certain state and then it comes with all its trappings it comes with its own dms and bdos and its structure and its all of this and then it sustains itself that's the sad part it's not easy to put it back so see, because the only party which is now common between two states is practically none it's brs bjp you know and congress in telangana mm. and tdp ysr cp bjp and there another uh, bjp alliance fellow so pawan are, kalyan pawan cinema kalyan, star yes. pawan kalyan so every cinema star is not tutored by annadurai and periyar no mm. so there is a yes. difference of course yes there is a big difference yes. mm. mgr was not only a cinema star he was a cinema star who had good that's the difference anyways so mm. look at look at what damaging this time the whole in the imperial system could have been destroyed having said that in west bengal the karnataka also north karnataka they tried to put this issue mm. in urissa they also tried to put this issue urissa is very interesting mm. so gujarati can decide who is cm i agree that a tamil cannot become chief minister of urissa agreed but a gujarati can decide who will become chief minister of urissa very strange and in urissa that also more you know exactly then it becomes a rubber stamp chief minister mm. in urissa also mm. there is a western urissa and the mahanadi delta core area mm. division similarly in west bengal they tried to do this north south issue okay you will be pleased to know as a brother from the tamil nationality is that kuch bihar which was the center of this north bengal sort of movement okay engineered by the bjp and where a sitting union minister of state and not any mm. union minister of state junior minister of amit shah mm. was also being called the mp of so called north bengal mm. you know and also you can see how this all media is bjp media all the things you see in bengal with channels mm. you know mm. they were they have started talking about two bengals 
by North and South. There's only one Bengal in India. He has been defeated. It's a very big message. Yeah. Also, a very important loss for the BJP and a very important gain for Bengalis is the Barakpur seat. So when Hindi imperialism works, it also works by slow demographic change, slow and rapid demographic change, where they almost displace the native people mm. so as to become a power broker. Mm. Mm. And of course, you will always have some Dalal type of native people who will join them for mm. crumbs. Orjun Singh, a particular mafia, was developing this character in the Barakpur industrial zone and Barakpur was the Lok Sabha seat. Mm. So much so that be it Trinomul, be the BJP, since 2009, Barakpur has not seen a Bengali MP. You'll be pleased to know this was a seat where Bangla Pokko was very active on the ground. Okay. So much so, so effective was our campaign. Okay. That the BJP made multiple complaints to uh. the election commission about an entity mm. that does not even fight elections. Mm. Okay. We consider it as okay. a badge of honor. What was our campaign? Okay. Barakpur wants Bengali MP. Barakpur, Barakpur a Bengali MP chai. Okay. And you will be pleased to know. It doesn't matter which party. Trinamul has won, but we would be as ha happy if Devdut Ghosh of CPM would have won. Barakpur now has a Bengali MP. Arjun Singh is destroyed. Okay. okay. And 29 out of 32, and if you consider mm. Congress, India Alliance mm. basically has 30 to 31 out of 32, 42. Okay. Okay. Way more than two thirds. 28 is two thirds. India Alliance okay. parties have more than two thirds seat in Bengal. This was supposed to be the place where BJP would gain. Remember? Okay. Hmm. You must have heard it. Why did you hear it? Because, and that's the sad part, and that's why we should do these programs much more regularly. Hmm. Because you get your content about Bengal from Delhi. That is the problem. Ah. Uh, it is not yes. your fault. Hmm. It is our situation. Yes, yes, yes. It is now that time even, that hmm. every state hmm. has its own media and its own English media. Yes, uh, which is why I welcome be, the South hmm. First and uh, you know the News Laundry and various such initiatives which are coming up. I hope they become hmm. uh, TV channels. Actually, the point that you have raised is very important. That's why when we were at Delhi, I called you to uh, uh, know some person uh, who is from Bengal to speak about Bengal there, and now we have you. Uh, in this election, uh, Narendra Modi raised the Bengal specific questions, uh, the, the question of infiltrators, the question of people who bear more children. All these are pointed particularly to Bengal and the CAA. Every time when the CAA issue raises, it is from Bengal, that is from the uh, persons of BJP. Even after all these issues, even after all the ruckus that the BJP and Modi created about the wealth redistribution, Mamta Banerjee, Rahul Gandhi, CPM, now Mamta and the, that is the India Alliance, MS is the uh, largest party in Bengal. How do you see that? How this happened? I will go issue by issue. Mm. Okay. So first of all, when I had last visited Tamil Nadu, during the DMK youth conference, <clears throat> I was told by enthusiastic DMK leader that every time Modi visits, BJP, DMK's vote goes up. <clears throat> okay. You would be pleased to know that Bengalis have joined that league. In okay. West Bengal, in Kolkata, for the first time, Narendra Modi did a road, road show. You know that one, where he's on a car, and then ah, he's yes. got some made in China lotus symbol. Uh, he's yes. doing this. You've seen him? Mm. Yes. And it was a, a picture became very famous. It was an amazing sight. So, uh, mm. there, the, the Gujarati is doing this or whatever. <laughs> Hmm. And surrounding him, 
are three Mirjafars or Bibishanas. Okay. Who? One is the Sugandhu Adhikari on his side, mm. one side. One is a guy called Shilvadra Dotto. Mm. And one is a guy called Tapos Rai. Mm. All three were in Trinomul. Oh. So that's the BJP party. That's how the East India Company came in. Okay. The West India Company, this BJP, uh -huh. North West India Company. Uh -huh. so then you had the East India Company. East India Company, you always should know, had many more brown skinned people in their army mm. compared to white skinned people. Mm. White skinned people only for managerial position. Uh, mm. Go there. You know, run there, shoot him. Mm. That was the job of the Lord Clive's. Mm. Okay. So similarly, here he had gotten some of these local mm. Bibishan and you know Mirjapur. But okay. this is the land of Meghnathwad Kabbo, written by mm. Michael Modusudan Dotto. Okay, who wrote about the greatness of Ravon when he was defending his homeland and his nation. Mm. This is the land of Shirajudola. Yes. Okay. Mm. So you cannot repeat Polashi every time. Bengal isn't mm. learned from it. Mm. Okay. Okay. And also, since we are not from UP, we are from Bengal. Mm. And when we see Rabon fighting mm. and divisions here mm. and there, we also understand mm. Mm. in that whole route of Modi's roadshow, in that seat, BJP lost. Okay. Interestingly, it was the same route in which Amit Shah had done the road show during which the statue of Vivekananda was destroyed by Hindi speaking outsider hooligans of BJP. Okay. Same route. Look at mm. the audacity also. You have to understand the imperial audacity. We will go in the same route. Okay. And I also remember the statue with the bust of Vivekananda was made out of plaster of Paris. It was you know, it was a hollow one made out of plaster mm. of Paris. Because the material is not so important. It's what he feels here. Mm. I remember Amit Shah. Mm. He actually had said after the thing had been broken. That was a plaster of Paris thing. We mm. will replace it mm. through precious metal. Look at the mentality. Yeah. And that's where mm. they don't understand that it is it is not about what it is made out of. Mm. It is what Vidya Shakura has made us. You know? And okay. in the same route, you should understand that you know the height of Vidya Shakura in our heart. You cannot match by any made in China statue you make in Gujarat. Of Patel yeah. or whoever. There's no match. <laughs> so now we want Modi to come many times. Mm. He should come again and again and again to Bengal. Some yeah. of the seats where BJP has won, Modi should visit many times now. Mm. So yeah. the CA issue, the citizenship issue, mm. we were one of the, we were seeing that, see, Tinobul is anti CA. Congress is anti CA. CPM is anti CA. Mm. But they were coming from an angle which we thought was irrelevant. Mm. They were coming from the angle of constitution and secularism. Mm. That why are you disallowing Muslims, etc.? Why Muslims have been left out? Mm. So Bangla Pokko led a very wide campaign. Mm. And in fact, Bangla Pokko has set the CAA narrative on the ground in this election, which has been used by all parties. 
Okay. And Tirumul happens to have benefited the most from it. Okay. Because we saw on the ground, we asked activists of Tinomul, we asked activists of Congress and uh, CPM, mm. CA is bad, okay, why is it bad? And then they are, they don't, they don't have money because our leader has said it's bad. So okay. that cannot be a reason, right? People who don't know, let me be very clear how dangerous a law this CA has become. It basically says anybody who has come after 1950, is an illegal any and it's you know it as you said it's a bengali target it's, it's targeted to hindu bengalis mm -hmm. and he said now if you have to become a citizen mm -hmm. and we are talking about people who have voter card who have other card who have ration card who have spent multiple generations here mm -hmm. apparently they are not citizen and to get a citizen they have to get some original document from bangladesh or east pakistan can you believe it Okay. And also they have to give on affidavit, mm. judici uh, an affidavit in front of a judicial magistrate and they have to upload that saying that I am not an Indian citizen. I am a Bangladeshi or a Pakistani citizen. This, the citizenship proof even Jarwas of Andaman don't have to give. The moment in ethnicity, a certain nationality of people have to give a special test of mm. Indianness. This is basically among the phases of genocide. You know, among the, you know, all the Nazis and the fascists, they always have to do with citizenship laws. Yes. Rights. You know, yes. they are they're very particular about it. So they are targeting out Bengalis. Outside of Bengal, every Bengali mm. became Hindu or Muslim. Mm. Every Bengali became a Bangladeshi unless proved otherwise. Mm. And this mentality permeated, especially in BJP states where they were being persecuted. And they will still be persecuted. This battle is not over, by the way. Today's election and results has only st stopped an immediate transformation into a Putin-Russia-like scenario. Okay. okay. To push it back into, let's say, a plural multinational democracy, as we should be, a real federal union, a lot of things need to be done. So that was an important fight in the ground. So we even gave coaching to activists of various political parties, various, not only one, Tinomul, Congress, CPM, they learned from us. So what to tell mm. Okay, we created PowerPoints. We ourselves, I, I myself have done our organization. I would say myself, our organization, okay. because in many of the meetings, I was not the speakers. Other people were speakers. More than forty-five rallies. Mm. Okay, and what it has shown mm. that Bengalis have not have rejected CAA. There are potentially more than a crore people, multiple crores maybe, mm. who under BJP's definition, Hindu Bengalis I'm talking about, who under BJP's definition are not Indians. Okay. Not even a thousand Hindu Bengalis have applied for CA. That's our success. They have not believed in it. And it reflects mm. in the results. Okay. Number two, you must have heard of Shandesh Khali. Ah, yes. In Shandashkali, assembly is, is not a Lok Shabha, it's an assembly segment. Mm. And that is part of the Boshirhat assembly segment. Okay. Okay. BJP has lost in the Boshirhat Lok Shabha segment, Lok Shabha, okay. of which Shandashkali is a part. Oh. And BJP has lost in Shandashkali assembly segment. Okay. So what has happened in Shandeshkali? What about Shandeshkali? Hmm. Let not a man from Calcutta speak about it. Let hmm. not a man from Delhi speak about it. Let hmm. not a man from Tamil Nadu speak about it. Let a man from Shandeshkali speak about it. Okay. And they have spoken. Hmm. 
because what we saw and it's a, it's a very dangerous precedent that mm. by capturing media and creating these twitter bots and facebook and whatsapp and hashtags and everything mm. you can basically buy some hired people you can create a completely mm. hoax issue and when the counter stings came when the bjp leaders mm. and this is also very tragic i'll tell you after this okay. mm. when the uh, block level bjp leaders who were mm. talking about how they engineered this whole fake thing how they paid 2000 rupees per two women how they were made to write on rape allegations to sign on them how the mm. national commission for women national commission for backward castes all of them were instrumentalized by the bjp mm. in this fake thing it's also very sad okay. you know one mm. thing is that these institutions which in should have its own function at, at, about actual persecution of women about mm. actual persecution of mm. backward castes but mm. they have become this kind of a thing but you know what is more tragic the people who had done this thing operation to get the truth of sandesh kali when they were mm. bjp leaders were you know if you must have seen the counter sting they were also yes. saying this and that mm. so why are they saying these things so openly mm. because this person who was doing this thing had simply claimed we are coming from bjp of delhi Oh, and this block level Bengali BJP activist post holder has no access. Mm. So when he hears Delhi, mm. he thinks, you know, white man from New York has come to give me, you know, from Britain he has come to give me knighthood, order of British Empire, mm. to give me promotion, and that's quite tragic. his gullibility is tragic mm. as a citizen of west bengal how he looks upon delhi as you know a benefactor that is tragic even today and you know this benefactor think about it right mm. Mm. even today as we are hearing that there will mm. be mm. a bihar package to get mm. nitish kumar Mm. on board mm. so bihar package will cost money no yes 80000 crores or 50000 crores remember once modi had given these 5000 80000 crores 90000 mm. crores 1 lakh 25000 crores he was giving in one uh, meeting in gujarat uh, bihar rally once so who will pay for this uh, 125000 crores all of these areas like you and me who have rejected bjp mm. this hindi belt will not be paying for it they will be only grabbing it yes so today the fact that there is not a india government but a nda government mm. if that happens mm. by buying nitish kumar by buying that mm. bihar package we have funded gujaratis to buy bihar so that gujaratis and hindi imperialism can form a government again okay that so economics never lies numbers hmm. there are interesting lessons here okay one is that this is only the start of a fight okay let me give you the first big fight that is coming bjp has understood it is vulnerable and it will try to decrease its vulnerability mm. how look at madhya pradesh it has swept look at bihar it has largely swept jharkhand it has done well okay mm. jharkhand it has done well okay chatisgarh it has done well mm rajasthan it has done well mm okay 
UP because of this caste issues, mm. they are slightly complicated. Okay. By the way, all of these seats, mm. all of these states stand to gain from delimitation, which is coming up in 2026. So delimitation yes. by which the proportion mm. of seats mm. in the Indian Union Parliament will be redistributed mm. based on population percentage today, because the numbers today reflect 1971 numbers. And since then, advanced civilizations and nations like West Bengal, Tamil Nadu mm. have controlled population, while the subsidy eaters have increased population, BJP sees a golden opportunity now, never again. So pump up your Bihar, pump up your MP, pump up your, you know, all of these places. And even UP, see, getting 40 mm. odd seats is, is quite a lot, right? This time they have voted, other time they might vote differently. Mm. So you make, an, make this Hindi belt, Rajasthan, Hindi belt, plus Gujarat, you basically have a majority. And then you always have some Anna Malai somewhere, some Shubendu Odikari somewhere to grab. That's the thing. There will always okay. be a Chandra Babu Naidu who will might be happy to play ball. So that's the thing. Mm. Right? Okay. So we really need to stop delimitation. And for that, mm. I think all non-Hindi people, especially advanced non-Hindi nationalities with a very evolved sense of what is imperialism, what is justice, what is federalism, what is mm. these things. We mm. really have to start the anti-delimitation campaign now. Mm. That campaign has to start. 2026 is not too far away. Okay. Okay. Another tragic issue, though, this time has been the demise mm. of the left in Bengal. Okay. The left was very hopeful in certain urban seats, of course. And uh, even uh, I visited multiple meetings by mm. left candidates. Trinomul mm. in certain seats have given outsider candidates. Very unfortunate. Some okay. of them have won. Yusuf Patan. There's a Gujarati cricketer. What is he doing in Bahrampur, in Murshidabad? He has won. This Shotrugno Sina. The Bihari mm. actor. Yes. He has won. Kirti Ajan, the uh, former India team cricketer from Bihar. He has won from Bengal. This is not a good precedent, you know. Okay. Yes. So in these type of seats, uh, Bangla Pokhu had supported left candidates. Mm. Sadly, they have not won. And there was a chance of left there was a, a, a little, a, a, quite a bit of talk of left revival. That did not happen this time. That's very unfortunate. Because it is important that Bengal politics becomes a bipolarity eventually between Trinomul and Congress left alliance. And at least at first become a tripolarity between Junomul, Congress Left Alliance, and BJP. Mm. And let me warn Tamils with the increase in vote share of the ND, BJP NDA, AIA DMK will want to join mm. back NDA again. Mm. AIA DMK is that buffer by which at least it is not fully dilly controlled and it has shown that to be true by breaking mm. from nda you mm. know yes. whatever be its positive negatives otherwise mm, mm, so mm. i would also like to appeal to the tamil people if mm. you hate dmk and it is okay ah. to hate dmk dmk will mm. not get 100 percent of the votes mm. vote for a party that was born in your land mm. not this bjp types and I'm very sad that a, a proud leader, uh. that a leader of the very proud Vanier community, 
that has now submitted to Delhi and Gujarat. Yes. Giving BJP this legitimacy, this or trying to, they failed, but they tried to. The intent was very bad. Please make penances to your ancestors mm. that we will not do this again. This is not done. I was seeing this expatriate anti Tamil Tamil sitting in Delhi. Mm. You know, is all these these very happy Annamalai, Annamalai, Annamalai. You know, there was a new hope, mm. a Trojan horse. Yes. In its in its stomach, what is in the stomach of this Annamalai Trojan horse? In its stomach is the ghost of Cho Ramaswamy. Mm. That is living in its stomach. So that Trojan horse, you know, don't go by his skin color. <laughs> Don't go by Annamalai skin color. Inside the belly of the Trojan horse, it is as fair as Cho Ramaswamy. The, okay. As you said, the people rejected uh, his candidature and uh, he lost the constituency and the results are declared. People, uh, people in Coimbatore are celebrating the defeat of Annamalai, taking a black goat with them and putting a face mask of Annamalai to that goat and uh, they are uh, taking the goat as a, a victory campaign that Annamalai lost, Annamalai lost and Annamalai lost. That is the kind of spirit that the Koyambutur is celebrating now. And uh, I want to know from you, uh, what do you think about the uh, present India government uh, uh, 230 seats uh, that they were leading? I would like to congratulate Comrade Sue Venkateshan, has he won? Yes. Yes. In this From Madurai? Yes, yes, I would like to personally congratulate. He is a friend of mine. Please convey my regards. You also know him likely. For sure. That Varvo sure. uh, uh, Energy uh, on air congratulated him, marked him out. Of course. I will, and I will uh, it, because that viewpoint has a place. It is very unfortunate, the results in Kerala also. As I was saying, the result in West Bengal also quite unfortunate. <laughs> so, best of luck to Sue Venkatesham. You know, yeah. you speak for all of us, all of us non indi people. <laughs> you know, the next parliament will be an interesting parliament. It be a parliament where when the leader of opposition walks in, if NDA mm. forms the government, BJP NDA forms the government, the leader of the opposition will get a greater set of claps. And yes. that is how it should be. Yes. In parliamentary democracy, the executive belongs to the party in power and the legislature should belong to the opposition. That mm. is the way of Westminster style democracy. That whole concept has been done away mm. in the last few years. A lot of damage has been done. See, I am speaking as if we have a India government in power. No. What I'm talking about is to make these steps towards getting an India government in power. Not now. If we can now, very fine. If any, how these uh, Nitish Kumar and this uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, they can be brought over and some kind of a formation. But even if that is not possible, to take, to, to not let go of the momentum of capture of narrative and also not to do usual debates. 
what the two kinds of ways one is to form your own media bjp has formed its own media you should not always say negative things about them through adani they have made this ndtv no through ambani they have made this news 18 no through this uh, whatever that uh, that that electoral bond guy he has made this tv 9 no mm. so they have done their thing that subhash chandra uh, bjp mp they have done this z network no they have done this mm. that so these things have to be made yes. maybe not so money mm. but also they already have a viewership that has to be utilized we must not forget the exit polls the exit polls completely unmasked mm. this so called media okay let's say for example you call me mm. to play cricket on mm. the tv show on, on a tv show debate <laughs> the opposition should go and play football mm. it should not matter what is the debate topic the debate mm. topic is to set the narrative they should always be reminded for the exit poll people no huh? smiling from here to here during exit poll <laughs> no we must not forget that today the indian union's credibility in the world and mm. as such because the indian union represents us bengalis in west bengal and tamils in tamil nadu through its external affairs ministry mm. it has fallen so much you know press freedom index etc etc in tamil nadu you can completely abuse talapati mk stalin what will happen to you you can do so many people are doing this on tv or everywhere in west bengal you can do this so what we have to say that we advanced nations we advanced civilizations in the indian union we should have our own press freedom index this noida does not represent our press freedom index you see what i'm trying to say we should also start communicating with the world in our own ways with our own issues be it press freedom be it human rights be it climate change you know that's what i was trying to say that's the future that future is a long future of struggle and that long future of struggle is only based upon the brotherly unity of all major non hindi nationalities bengalis tamils malayalis kannadigas marathis let's not forget punjabis basically we who provide a majority of the gdp of the indian union who we who, who we people who delhi gets more in terms of tax and pays us less we who subsidize these up rajasthan bihar etc you know we should get our rightful share finance commission also has to be made sure delimitation finance commission all of these are similar kind of issues so we should agree the so census has not been taken mm. they will try to do census now mm. and uh they will try to do census now but we should agree only agree to census if they if through a constitution amendment they freeze 1971 numbers when considering finance commission to delimitation everything otherwise we no no count because with every count they will proportionally increase only with every count but let me tell you this is still 
a Hindi imperialism dominated Indian Union in our lifetimes Mamata Banerjee has, or MK Stalin has no chance of becoming Prime Minister now or in future as many of their fans might think. Let me be very clear on this. Not because they don't have the ability. Because he is a Tamil, because she is a Bengal. Okay. I think that question should be appropriately addressed and <coughs> it should be discussed in a wider perspe perspective. Uh, because uh, every nationality living in the subcontinent has the right to hold the office of Prime Minister or office of the President. But uh, uh, other than Gujarat <coughs> and uh, Uttar Pradesh, every uh, state is uh, deprived of that opportunity. Uh, we should discuss on that uh, further. Uh, and, I, will, I will just briefly give an analogy. Hmm. See, every person should have the right to dream to become a doctor and the ways and the means to study for becoming a doctor. Just like Anita tried. But as you can see, Dilli put hurdles, not because she did not have the ability, but because Dilli did not want her to become a doctor. Dilli wanted mm. some CBSC fellow to become a doctor. Mm. Okay. So that is the social mm. hindrances. Mm. And then you put a union government hurdle. So she has to cover a double hurdle mm. and we know what happened. So while that's a social, social hierarchy hurdle in the union, in Hindi imperialist, imperialism captured union, we also have a ethnic hurdle. We are not the chosen people. We got to live with it. But at the same time, our struggle, our long term struggle of our nationalities has to be making Delhi irrelevant in our lives for everything except external affairs, external defense and currency. That remains the aim. It's an aim mm. that CN Anadurai laid out very clearly. It's an aim with keeping which in mind we and if required our coming generations will continue the fight let's see what unfolds uh, thank you sir for joining us and sharing your views and thoughts in a very explained manner uh, thank you for this opportunity thank you sir thank you Tamil, joy Bangla.